If you're a fan of surfing, filmmaking, and animation, then you're in for a real treat. Hi everyone, I'm Darius Legg. Last year I made an eight-time award-winning short animated surf documentary called Stoker Machine. If you haven't seen the movie yet, click on the link in the description below. You might want to watch it before going any further. Today we're diving into something really special. One of my favorite parts of filmmaking, behind the scenes and commentaries. When I was a kid, a behind the scenes video or the making of was almost more interesting to me than the movie itself. I'm super excited to share with you this commentary series because I get to sit with surfers and filmmakers and artists, watch the stoker machine, and ask people what makes them stoked. This is part one of the series, and I thought that there was no better way to kick it off than with my good friend and star of the film, Chad Campbell. Chad is a bit of a renaissance man. He's made three or four film documentaries. He's a boatman in Tavarua, incredible surfer, avid reader, deep thinker, yoga instructor, rapper. <laughs> is there anything this guy doesn't do? <laughs> We're gonna talk about the creative process, behind the scenes, and we might even reveal some Stoker Machine secrets. Okay, Chatty, thanks for doing this. This is the Stoker Machine commentaries. <laughs> yeah, Dar. Right. Here we are. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Bro, that is a that is a pretty epic uniform, I have to say. Bro, I'm super curious. Like, how how did the film come out to you? Like, what did you think it was gonna be versus how it came out? Oh, the, I mean, the film. I think the film came out so sick. Um, super cool. And th thanks for making me look, you know, as cool as I I can look, I guess. Uh, no, I think, bro, I think you did a great job, Dark. Roots, like, good, good work. Um, Should we tell the audience I didn't even let you know I was making a movie? <laughs> I don't, to be honest, I mean, I know you well enough. I don't think you that even crossed your mind to let me know. You were like, what do you mean? It's my movie. No, it did. No, I'll tell, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let them know. No, no, it was more, I didn't tell anyone I was making a film because I just, I didn't want to put pressure on myself because I didn't know what it was going to be, you know? I really, I really needed to make this story, even if no one saw it except you and I, like I just needed to do it and I didn't want to do it um, to put any pressure on the process. But look at this hair, bruh. I love the hair here. Why do I need a haircut? <laughs> What's up no, with the hair? No, it's just what do you like your perfect quintessential like <laughs> surfer hair, like endless summer, a, you know, like the comb over. Uh, I guess so. Uh, um, no, but Dar, that's one of the things that you were you were doing all let the audience know dar was doing an edit on and if do you need to ever pause this we can oh no i guess it's they're only gonna watch it as long as we can edit this audio Re rewind it a bit no no go for it just say what you're gonna say uh, keep going no so dar was doing he was doing some sort of edit i don't know if it was if if you had a project in mind but you were you were doing something on mike latronic who's the ledge true and so dar interviewed me about mike because i know mike from old school just surfing and be, making films and stuff and interviewed me and somehow stoker machine the the board came up blah 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 so and then like wait, a month wait. later dar what do you mean somehow bro you wouldn't stop talking about that board for like a week straight <laughs> yeah that that's true that's that is true i i was psyched somehow. on that board. so anyway though so dar's like oh hey i need i need a couple more snippets um of a video and audio can you can i interview yeah and he's asking me more about the board and just about surfing life in general or whatever well then freaking i didn't even know he's making a little project on me which it is kind of about me but it's about the board but for like months i didn't know i didn't know it was like anything to do with me i thought it was about mike latronic still <laughs> so yeah but this but no it came out epic i the, a couple a couple of thoughts when i watch it and think is interesting is we filmed Literally, I think we filmed two sessions. That's it. 
I, we filmed this one with the water, which was a beautiful day. It was like the waves are, the waves are actually really fun. It wasn't like amazing, but it was fun. And it was, uh, but I do remember it was a beautiful Kona day, all blue. And then we surfed that other day at uh, Kukio, yeah, at the at the left, which the waves are decent. But that board, I, I wasn't, I don't, you know, every day is different. I wasn't surfing super well, but all good. The, it came out sick. I can't believe we accomplished like enough surfing footage to tell the story in just two sessions. It really made me like, uh, yeah, I was, I, I'm just. Well, even like this shot right here, right? Like that visual, it's like visually pleasing with those boards and you know the the varying degrees of beige but then the green and then big girl big girl <laughs> you love that line huh? such a fan bath big girl's right here in my in my in my little editing bay but no we didn't need that much surf footage really because the animation bro is you know is epic that's right chad the animations are epic Stoker Machine is supported by the artwork that Darius Leg makes. His mission is to spread Stoke worldwide, and he wants you to be a part of it. So if you'd like to buy some artwork and Stoker Machine merchandise to help keep this party wave going, head on over to DariusLeg.com. Just tell everyone you know about Stoker Machine and like, follow, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If none of that tickles your fancy, then sign up for the Stoke newsletter that goes out twice a month. Links to all that are in the description below. And remember folks, it's not spam, it's Stoke. And now, back to Stoker commentary. When you watch this, do, do memories come back of where you were in your life when, when we were... Well, yeah, because that was, wasn't it, wasn't it like kind of COVID-y still during this time? Yeah, no, it was knee deep in COVID. Yeah, so that was a, that was just a weird time in the world, you know, and it was real. But Big Island at that time was real mellow because nobody was here. It was the best. So it was kind of epic. You know, take this for a spin. I don't think we could have got the empty lineup shots we did if it was any other time. <laughs> yeah, it's so crowded and shitty over here. Nobody ever come over here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that GoPro footage worked out. That was my first time ever shooting in the water. Like, nah, it's ever. It's great. GoPros are GoPros are legit. They are. They Look how square that tail is in that shot. Well, you can yeah. Kind of shred it still. Stoker machine. Yee, yee. On your backhand, it just has a lot of drive. It does this day was fun. I got so sunburned on this day. It holds its speed. It's a fun I remember getting home. And I have a, I have a blank. I, I have a blank, and I've been thinking about turning into a little, like a shorter Stoker. Wow, that'd be sick. I, I gotta, yeah. I just, I don't know why I haven't gotten around to it yet. You know what's funny is people always ask me about the star lighting in your eyes. They're always like, "What is that? Is that After Effects, or did you do that later?" Oh. It's so fun to have this mystery behind it, right? We're, we're With that circular light, light, yeah. Well, everybody thinks that, but it's really just yeah, stuff. Well, it's stuff my first at all. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't Surfer, know that. Measure up. Just put it under your arm, kind of give it a little wiggle. Hmm. It's about a six foot. I love, this is one of my favorite parts, sort of is you breaking down the board, you know, because it's, rails, it's exactly thin, how you would do it if you were just yeah. with me doing it. You know what I mean? Like it's, well, and it's very <laughs> unscientific. A shaper, a real shaper would probably be like, yeah, okay, amateur, you know? I <laughs> like hold it under, holding it under, under my arm and be like, yeah, it's about 38 liters. <laughs> by the weight of it under my arm. Oh, <laughs> so address. good though. It was Kavika. They didn't even have literage back then when they shaped that board though. They weren't, huh? That's a new thing, isn't it? And I'm like, okay, that's, that's a, a newer a thing for sure. I, I'm sure the shapers, whatever, you know, like, were thinking about some sort of metric to measure how much a board floats, but yeah, the leader thing is. And even, even I think a lot of shapers now still are, it's it's like a myth to them, you know. Kind of funny and, cool. I, and I don't even know. I I just think it's a good gauge, whether it's accurate or inaccurate, or it's kind of a it's a another. I'm gonna just say metric because that's the word, right? Yeah. Uh, of, of like, of okay, my favorite short boards usually are whatever, whatever by 29.5 liters. So it's a good way to dial in your boards. A model that <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. I mean, I remember when it started to become popular and people would ask like, oh, how many liter board do you ride? And I always be like, huh? 
And I guess it's just because like we didn't grow up with that. But it's a cool way to better understand like what boards are working for you and which ones aren't. The, oh, Cody. There's Cody. Cody. <laughs> Cody's the man. Cody's so cool. He is. It's like I, I, I missed him by a millisecond on my last trip home. I wasn't able to see him. But he was coming out. He was in the water and I had to leave. So oh, here we go. This is this is when we started explaining the the Stoker, the Randall Stoker story, I think, right? It is. And I got to say a huge thanks uh, for always encouraging me to, to use my drawings, dude. That's like Yeah, for the audience when Darce really started. I always feel like that's so important like to like when you see someone that's your friend you know like i do that to my friends too it's like i wish you would do that you know and, and thank you for saying i wish you would draw more like that really well i just thought you had like a real talent for it and i also thought it seemed like you really enjoyed it so those two things right yeah because i because i'm i'm down i agree with you on the encouragement be no encouraging your friends but i'm i'm kind of actually you want to hear a funny chatty thing of course i do I'm, first of all i'm so over shoulda coulda woulda or you should especially jordy bruff has a great one when we talk about this when people are like hey you know what you should do and it's kind of like well you you know what you should do is go and do that yourself if you want to do it i'm the over the should the should could would yeah words especially when people are telling other people hey you should like no you know but i hey i really enjoy watching you uh seeing your artwork dar like if you do more i'd be stoked if it makes you stoked the other one that i can't stand and this is a gonna be a little unpopular let's go let's hear it you know i'm real i'm real i'm really proud of you i'm really proud of you like who the f are you to be proud of me <laughs> It's such a condescending thing to say. I'm so f***ing over it, actually. I'm so proud of you. I know what they mean. Like, people who say that, it's coming from a good place. They just haven't thought it through. That that It just sounds so condescending. Some people, some people aren't coming from a good place. I would say the vast majority who say that, they mean, they mean it in a good way. Like, I'm stoked for you. It's more like, and what I say in the place of is, I'm so stoked for you. Yeah. Because you're doing what... Because you're doing what's making you happy or whatever, right? Well, on that note, Chatty, what makes you stoked? There's many things that make me stoked. Surfing being an obvious one, but... <laughs> petting funny dogs. <laughs> uh, drinking coffee. Good coffee. Good books. Getting barreled. Wow. That makes me the most stoked, probably. <laughs> funny dogs, bro. That's amazing. Is there anything else you want to add? Funny stuff, silly stuff, silly dog videos, silly animal videos. Um, some of the surf guys, Raglan Surf Report, and this other guy, that that so surf guy, he's pretty funny. Being oh, and feeling bro, free, I that makes me stoked. Realize. And we're very fortunate it's to feel that way often. Oh, bro, right on for sharing that. Well, this has been so much fun, Chatty. I love you long time. Thanks for doing this. Oh, yeah, you. <laughs> you. Well, that concludes part one. And part two will be dropping next week, so be sure to like, follow, and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this, please share it with friends. Stoker Machine is supported by the art that I make. So the more people that support Stoker Machine, the more Stoker Machine art that you get to see. I really appreciate you tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Game over.